بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so now we have seen what is submitting now next thing we'll see what are the different methods or the uh, methods we can do submitting there are two different methods we can either do flsm or vlsm flsm stands for fixed length subnet mask and vlsm stands for variable length subnet mask now basically the difference between these two is in flsm uh, let's assume this is my network whether it is a c class a class or b class any any class it can be so when you are dividing that particular network equally then we call it as flsm so fixed length subnet mask means all the networks are of equal sizes just like if you take an example of you have a space and you prepare some classrooms uh, in any colleges probably you'll see all the classrooms mostly they are of equal sizes in vlsm so basically you may not get a requirement all the time equal so in vlsm what we'll do is we'll be dividing in variable sizes may be same may not be same just like your kitchen bathroom hall uh, like your bedrooms so if there will be variable sizes because of the requirements so most of the time you get a requirement uh, will be variable like you may have a network with a 100 host probably or you may have a, another department maybe just 50 host another department just have only 30 host like that so in different departments you may have different uh, ranges or different uh, number of users will vary based on that we can we can also do submitting we call it as vlsm so vlsm is a main concept which will be focusing but before that we will be uh, laying some foundations based on flsm so it's like uh, vlsm we generally use most of the time but flsm is something will be understanding first so that we can have a good foundation with examples the next thing okay so whatever the method we use it depends on the requirement whether it is same requirement or variable requirement if it is same then it is vlsm if it is variable then it is vlsm so the submitting is completely done based on the requirement as i said the requirement is nothing but the number of devices you want to connect let's say the number of devices you want in that department in, in simple words we call as host requirements now the host means nothing but the number of devices so based on this formula we have to calculate so we'll be using this formula let's say 2 to the power of h minus 2 that is the formula which we use for finding our exact requirement or the exact uh, subnet or the exact small network we can divide so based on this example here like let's say my requirement is let's say 30 host so we have to go with the requirement of 2 to the power of h minus 2 greater than or equal to 30 uh, which means 2 to the power of h means the nearest 2 power value which satisfies my condition so similar way if my requirement is let's say 60 host so i have to go with 2 to the power of 6 okay so minus 2 is for network id and the broadcast id we'll, we'll see this when we get into the uh, calculations so let's say if my requirement is let's say 100 host maybe 100 host so the exact 100 is not possible the nearest possible size is 128 so if you require exact 200 host so exact 200 is not possible so you have to go with 2 to the power of 8 that is 256 so when you do submitting the exact size requirement is not possible so you have to go these are the only possible sizes you can go with so 2 to the power of h values so based on this you have to uh, divide so exact 100 or exact 150 exact 170 is not possible so these are the only possible sizes uh, we can go with when we divide uh, the network into subnets so the networks which we divide uh, we call them as subnets in in most of the time i'll be using a keyword called subnets a subnet means the sub networks the small networks uh, we get after dividing uh, the, the default networks.